whatever you do, whatever you do, make sure the first thing that you go for is not the money. Point blank and period. Because if the first thing you go for is the money, then ultimately you may get it, but you may get burnt out before you even make it there. We're going to dive into all that today, but I just wanted to get that out the way. It's your podcast mentor. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the intro. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Another episode of Your Podcast Mentor. And the purpose of this show ultimately is to help you build your platform, to establish your platform so that you can profit on purpose with your podcast. All right. I'm Jonathan Jones. And just like I was saying before, right, don't go for the money. Don't go for the money. I know it's an unpopular opinion. All right. I know it's an unpopular opinion. I know that you're not going to hear everybody say this, but the thing that I want you to understand most here today, plain and simply put, is is, is this, all right? You can make money doing a lot of things. You can make money podcasting. You can make money working a job. You can make money doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. However, I want you just to consider this today as we dive into this episode and I just bring you in a little bit into my life. I want to also show you why you shouldn't go for the money. All right. So look, if you're out there and you're listening or you're watching on YouTube, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Just type Jonathan Jones Speaks on YouTube and make sure that you subscribe so you can see the footage if you desire. And we're trying something new today. We, we crossed over to Ecamm live from StreamYard. And if you don't know what either one of those are, just drop me a comment in the comment box and I will be sure to do a video breakdown just to help you get a better understanding. But family, look, about uh, about a month ago, about a month ago, a young lady uh, reached out to me. She was on my website. She filled out my speaker form because, you know, that's what I I do. I, I go to colleges and I speak to students. I speak to student athletes. And just share with them a little bit about my journey. And previously, what I did was I would speak about the transition for uh, a student athlete to go from college and be prepared for what comes next in life. Right. So that could look like telling them how they can begin to get their LinkedIn together. And I had a presentation called Ready Versus Prepared and just breaking down everything that they can begin to study and that they can begin to do. So then when it comes time for them to graduate, they're already ready to transition. All right. So she reached out to me and she saw me do a presentation around mental health because that's the way I teach it. I believe that you should you should uh, address three different areas. And that's even what I do with my podcast. Now, you see, we talk about start, launch and monetize. And I focused on mental health. I focused on uh, life after sport, and then I even focused on ultimately just self-help strategies, all right? So I focus on the personal, I focus on the professional, and I focus on the transition. But y'all, she reached out to me, she was like, Jonathan, I see that you're speaking on mental health, so I gave her a call, you know, hello, hello. She was like, Jonathan, I was like, yeah, it's me, and then we started talking, and I let her know. I let her know this up front. I said, thank you for reaching out. Thank you. I appreciate you reaching out. I appreciate the fact that you even wanted me to speak. Because speaking is a relationship industry. And we're going to talk about that in future episodes. And if you all have interest in that, let me know. Send me a DM at your podcast mentor show. Uh, send me a DM on Instagram at your podcast mentor show, and I'll be sure to, you know, go deeper on an episode about that. But after I talked to her, I said, ma'am, I know you're looking for someone to speak about mental health. 
in the way that my business has shifted, now that's not what I'm talking about. If you want me to come in and speak to your student athletes, I would love to come speak to them. However, I would be speaking about branding. I would be speaking about helping them learn how to market themselves. I would be speaking about podcasting because that's the shift that I've made. Slight caveat here. Well, let me make this point. Let me bring this point home. You want to you want to be able to be in a position to where if you don't do something and you know you don't you know, you know that you know that you know that you know that this is not your lane anymore. Communicate that to other people. Right. If you know that you're not speaking to students anymore about mental health strategies or professional strategies and somebody reaches out to you and asks you to speak about it. You want to be in a position to where you don't just say yes for the money. I said it. I said it. I said it. Right. You want to make sure that you're not just doing it for money. So that's the first thing. All right. You want to make sure that you operate with a high level of integrity. That's just the first part. That's the first part. You want to operate with a high level of integrity. The second thing is you want to be able to have a strong enough network to where you can begin to refer that potential client to who they need. I told her I didn't speak about mental health. However, I told her my guy, Abraham Scully, who has his podcast called Unlearn the Lies with Abraham Scully, where he focuses all on mental health. That's what he focuses on. That's what he does. Okay. So I said, yeah, you can hit up Abraham if you want to talk about, if you want somebody to talk about mental health, he's your guy. He has the podcast on it. I work with him. I helped him start his podcast. So he's who you want to talk to if you want somebody to talk to on mental health. That's the second thing. You want to have a strong enough network to where if you don't have what they're shopping for or what they're looking for, that you can then still be the conduit or the conductor to connect them to somebody else. All right. Yep. Yep. But the third thing is this right here. The third thing is this. This is the sweetest point right here. This is the sweetest point. You want to stay on your superpower. Stay on your superpower. I sent a I sent a message to a gentleman last night. Uh, you're going to see the announcement eventually coming out and I'll be sure to make sure that you all know on the channel. You know, if you're rocking on YouTube, if you're subscribed to the podcast on any other platform, I reached out to him and I told him, I said, hey, man, I know I agreed to doing some copywriting for you. You asked me that I want to make some extra money doing some copywriting because it was copywriting about podcasting. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. I had to go back in the DMs and I had to hit him up. I was like, say, bro, I know what I told you. I know I said I'd be down to do the copywriting, but at the same time, that's not my superpower. My superpower is teaching. My superpower is speaking. My superpower is podcasting, doing some videos. I said, when it comes time to do that, hit me up and then let me know. I said, I believe that somebody else is best suited for the copywriting. That's not me. And I don't want to take away from the brand and I don't want the brand to be able to capitalize because I know that this isn't my best place to be utilized, nor do I want to just put something together that would take me longer. It would be more difficult. And on top of that, you might not even get what you want, but I would get what I wanted with the money. So I said, you know what? I don't, I'm not going to do it, but when it comes time to speak, when it comes time to teach and when it comes time to crank out some videos or do some podcast content, I'm your guy. Family, so what I want you to take away from this episode today is this. Look, 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 look. I said the young lady reached out to me. I came back and told her, I'm sorry, I'm not your guy to speak on mental health. I've done that previously, but that's not what I'm doing now. 
I woke up early this morning. I looked at my email and I saw she circled back. She said, I talked to the student athletes and initially they did want us to talk about mental health. But she said, Jonathan, they came back and they said that they would love to learn more about marketing themselves. So I would love to still have that conversation about potentially having you come to speak to our student athletes. Why am I sharing, why am I sharing that with you today? When you're in a position and you make a point to where you can walk away from the money, the money finds a way back to you when you're doing your area of genius, when you're operating in your own area of expertise, point blank and period. So let me rewind this thing. Let me recap this thing and let's get ready to get out of here. The first point that I said is that you want to operate with a high level of integrity in your business, in your podcast. You want to make sure that if you're not covering certain topics anymore, if you're not in this industry anymore, communicate that to people. Like, let's just be, let's be honest. Let's be honest with people. Let's be honest with people. I know you want to get the bag. I want to get the bag too. But if you're honest with people and you do business the right way, it's going to find a way back to you. So first and foremost, I pray with integrity. Let people know what's up. The second thing is you got to get your network up. Because you want to be able to connect somebody to what they need, especially if it's not you. Right? I sat on the phone with this young lady the first time for like 30 minutes. We were just talking. I was learning more about what she needed. Right? I used to work retail. And I realized that when I stopped trying to sell people what I wanted them to buy, the most expensive shoe, all of the accessories... I started listening to people more and trying to hear what do they need, not what do I want them to buy. And then when I got to that place, I was like, oh, wow. When you help, when you listen and find out what they need, then it makes it easier for you to provide it for them, even if it's not you. Hello, somebody. All right. So we've got to get our network up. That's the second point so that we can refer people out. But the third thing is, the third thing is this, third thing is this. When you get to a point and when you get to a space to where you hone in on that one thing, and I know I did an episode earlier in our content talking about niching down. I'm going to link that in the video somewhere. I'm going to put in the show notes as well. But find that one thing and go an inch forward and a mile deep in it. If somebody today asked me about podcasting, I can give you a lot of conversation about podcasting. All right. I've heard it said once before, if you're scared to share the information that you know, then more than likely you don't know enough. So stop having a a limited mindset, a scarcity mindset and begin to share with people what you know. I told the young lady, I said, look, ma'am. I don't talk about mental health, but I do talk about showing student athletes how to start their own podcast. I do talk about helping student athletes begin to brand and market themselves so that they can be set up while they're in school and then especially when they graduate. And now she circled back to hit me up so we can have a conversation. So family, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, and I want you today to really hone in and really think about What am I doing just for money? Mm, God, that's a bar. That's a holy bar. What am I doing just for money? Not because I'm good at it. Not because I want to do it. But what am I doing just for money? And then once you identify that thing, let's go back to the drawing board. And let's see. How can we replace that with doing something that we're actually passionate about? How can we go back to the drawing board and then assess 
I've been doing this thing for money for far too long. And I understand that in some seasons, you need to do some things for money. You do work a job for money. You will do some odd jobs for money. I've done that. I did it this past weekend. But I also know that I was doing it just for the sake of doing it. I was bagging some seasonings. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to tell that story another day. But look, identify what you're doing just for money and then begin to put some things in place to where you can do what you're passionate about instead of just doing odd jobs and odd things and et cetera, just for money. So family, look, we, we want to hear your questions. Well, first of all, first of all, first, let me say this. Let me say this. I appreciate all the support. If it comes in the form of a DM, if it comes in the form of a shared episode on an Instagram story, if it comes in the form of a mention on Twitter, wherever we might be, your podcast mentor show on Instagram, right? Feel free to give us a screenshot and tag us so we know that you're rocking with us. If you're on Good Pods, hit me up on Good Pods, all right? But family, jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor, okay? jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. That's where you can access the podcast. That's where you can scroll down to the bottom and then you can leave us a voicemail letting us know what you think about the show or even leave a question. And I'd love to answer your questions. As you know, we have the segment called Q&A with JJ, podcast Q&A with JJ, and I would love to answer your questions. So go there, jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash your podcast mentor. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side because family, this is your podcast mentor show with Jonathan Jones, and we want to help you establish the platform, okay? Establish the platform so that you can profit with purpose from your podcast. Peace and God bless.